Hey everyone, Rachel Augustine here. I'm a senior executive sales leader from Bailey, Colorado. I've been with Norwex for a little over 10 years now and um, joined mainly because of, you know, the product and the business opportunity. So um, that's a little about me. Um, I'm here to share just um, some tips on helping you staying focused with your business. Um, just attended a leadership meeting with our regional sales manager, Lynn Branham, and um, she's phenomenal. So she has amazing um, knowledge and um, her heart. She just cares about consultants, company, the world, all of that. So she's, we're very, very happy to have her here um, as our RSM for um, Colorado. So um, some of the takeaways from that meeting, I'm just going to share with you because it was so good. Um, a quote that she just recently sent out is visualize the best version of yourself and start showing up as that person. So, you know, our mindset is, you know, 99% of what we, we do and, and, and what we can accomplish is what we think we can do and accomplish. So be visualize who you want to be and then just show up and then eventually you will be that person. Um, so um, her meeting was about five steps to growing your Norwex business. So basically I'm gonna read off of my notes here. She's amazing. So um, number one, set your business hours. So um, commit to do the work. So if you're doing this part-time, maybe it's five hours a week, 20 hours a month something like that, but commit to those hours, schedule those hours in your planner, and then um, they're non-negotiable, right? Those are your hours. This is a business. Treat your business as a business. If you were working for someone else and you committed to those hours, you said you're going to work Tuesday from, you know, 4 to 8 p.m., then you're going to show up. So you're your own boss, but um, I'm going to have to put my glasses on, um, commit to do the work. Okay. And then show up flexible. Our job is super flexible. We can work when we want to work. We could do, you know, you know, emails and stuff in the middle of the night, if that works into our schedule, but flexible doesn't mean optional. You still have to do the work in order to get the reward and then commit to step away from your your business. So um, we work, 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 but then we have to reward ourselves for that work or we need family time. We need play time to help um, offset that so that when we do go back to work, we're refreshed and we can really focus. So number two, plan your income producing activities. So around that work schedule, income producing activities are your bookings, your parties. Parties are number one. So whether you're partying online, messenger, live, whatever it is that's your way of partying, plan those income producing activities and focus on those. So that's where you're going to be bringing in your income, right? So, you know, whether it's, I do a lot of um, the buying clubs. So I have to schedule my time focusing on that. It's really easy to scroll away <laughs> when you get on, um, you know, whether it's Facebook or wherever it is that you're, you're communicating and then just kind of going off. So plan the, um, the work hours and then um, really focus on the income producing. So it could be team building, right? If you're a leader, it could be um, growing your team more or growing your leaders within your team. So those are income producing um, activities. Also, one hour of planning saves you 10 hours of doing. Again, not... Um, you know, trying to reinvent the wheel. So one hour of planning saves you um, 10 hours of doing. So make sure you do have some type of a system. Um, number three is set goals. So set your personal goals. And if you're a leader, set um, some team goals and then make them non-negotiable. So make sure that the goals that you're setting are reasonable 
that you can um, attain them. Um, some goals are a little bit more stretch goals, but your weekly goals, your monthly goals, those type of things really need to be something that you can confidently attain. Now, don't make them too low. <laughs> you know, you want to, um, you know, if you're consistently selling $2,000 a month, well, then that's your goal, right? To sell $2,000 a month. The stretch goal would be maybe to sell $3,000 a month, but set your goals make them non-negotiable. Number four is take full ownership of your results. So whether you hit your goals, whether you miss your goals, that's on you. So then you have to reflect on, okay, did I actually work during those hours that I set aside or was I, you know, playing games on Facebook? So easy to do. Um, so um, take full ownership, evaluate, assess, and adjust. So after a week, after a month, okay, I hit my goals. I didn't hit my goals. I think I could have done better. Oh, I know I could have hit more. So then you need to address. And again, treat your business as a business. Um, and then number five is always manage what's going on inside of your mind. So again, um, that self-talk, um, so setting a goal and then immediately saying in your mind, like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to hit this goal. So maybe adjust the goal. So manage what's in here. You, you can do it. You've done it in the past, right? So look at your track record. Um, you're able to, to do your sales and your bookings and your, your team building maybe. So um, you just be that confident um, person, that best version of yourself. So hope this helped. Again, Lynn Branham, well, just sharing what she shared with us. So she's amazing. So, okay. Thank you. Have a great day.